All right, so, uh, turn of events. What, 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 we were supposed to have a fun journey today. What happened? Hey, thanks. Hmm? We were supposed to have a fun journey today. What happened? Started your period. <laughs> I started my, I think all of us universally started our period. Uh, so we're actually heading out to get tested because one of the dudes in the bachelor party uh, tested positive for COVID after he got home. So uh, that basically killed the entire day. We have to drive all the way back to Nashville to get a test to make sure we're good to fly home tomorrow. Uh, so we, but hey, good news. We got Hardee's. Here, we'll set it right here. There we go. It's gonna be at an angle. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> What'd you get? Got biscuit. <laughs> no, I got an omelet biscuit here. Uh, COVID free. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't know, maybe. Who knows? Uh, I got the loaded. It's a gravy biscuit, and I love how the Ooh. camera's fogging up again. Like, dude, what is going on with the the temperatures in the? In, I'm so done with this. Listen, just enjoy watching us be kind of sexy and foggy. All, All right, right, try it. Ready? Oh, that's fucking good. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's really good. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Also, Nando, you were totally wrong. He said they had the exact same stuff as Carl's Jr. They nope. don't. Totally different menu. Oh, that's really good. Mm-hmm. It's way better than ours. <coughs> it's real food. Mm. Yeah. It is. It's still, well, I have a hair on mine, but, you know, we'll just excuse that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it seemed like they were going through some stuff there. All right, as we become more mysterious and fog up, <laughs> what would you rate yours? Four out of five. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give mine a five, actually. I really like this. I'm not even huge on, like, gravy, but I think that it really complements this. So, as we get more mysterious, um, we're gonna be going to get tested, uh, then we're gonna be going back and staying at Sean's tonight. Because they also had to get tested, so we'll just kind of isolate away. Or we'll see. We're not sure. Well, if one of us tests positive, then we won't. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of the plan. And, um, yeah. What if you have it and I don't have it? Or how about if I have it and you don't have it? Don't worry. But right now, just being in the car, we gave it to each other anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> be more safe, everybody. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, hi there. So, uh, I'm going to be reviewing real quick while we are searching for a gas station for Krista P. Uh, C4 Energy, I found this at a random liquor store while we were out in uh, Georgia, around the Atlanta area. Uh, Starburst apparently has collaborated with C4. Uh, this is their Starburst Strawberry C4 Energy Drink. I didn't even know that this was a thing that existed. Hey, do you like C4 Energy Drinks? No, I just want to fucking take piss. Okay, well there we go. That's his, <laughs> that's his contribution. Holy shit, that tastes like Starburst. It tastes like Starburst, but it also kind of tastes like artificial candy, or like a, or like a candle kind of. Ooh. Mmm. Got the cool design along the can. Never been a big fan of Starburst in general, though. I think it's one of the more overrated candies. Always gets stuck in the teeth a little too hard. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. I'm gonna rate this one. A solid four out of five matte faces. I wish I could tell you where to find it. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? about C4 energy drink as a whole, and uh, Starbursts. Do you like it? Feet, Don't like it? Oh, turn South left. Holly South Holly Street. That's where it, it's South, South Josh Holly Street. All right, fuck it, let's do the other one. Starburst Cherry C4, while we're stuck in traffic. This has been a very eventful last day, hasn't it? It's fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking the, the trip started so great, like, and it was really fun. I Overall, I had a great time. But it has, this trip has shit on us really relentlessly for the last uh, day and a half or so. No, not day and a half. I'd probably say about... Two days? Uh, no, 12 hours. Day and a half, two days. He actually he actually means that he hates, he hated the whole trip. No, not at all. I yeah. love, actually, I love the whole trip. <laughs> I like Tennessee. It's just, uh, no, I actually love Tennessee. I like Tennessee, and I think people are very nice here, but I also think that they are, uh, they are the worst drivers on the entire planet. Like, they are the worst. Let's try out this energy drink. I actually like the other one better. I like the previous version. I don't know, this one tastes more artificial, I guess. I'm sad now because I poured the other one out. Dude, people drive like fucking maniacs out here. I thought that driving around the city in like LA and Pasadena out by us was bad. No, no. Trucks 
like fucking semis will pass people up like you would a normal car. You can't do that out in California. You would, they would get a ticket immediately. But uh, alright, so as far as this flavor is concerned, not as good as the other one. Um, it's still not horrible though, I'll give it a low four. It's just a little more artificial overall. Still pretty cool though to see Starburst. Uh, collaborating for energy drinks. So, journey continues. Uh, look, uh, look, show more we're driving through. At the very least, we're gonna get uh, dinner tonight, so we'll finish off this trip with a really nice dinner. But yeah, let's show the trip. Look at how we're just in like the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there was a sign miles. that says, be aware, dangerous curve. Oh yeah. There's people here who like to drive too fast and like to go over the lines and can't said, stay within the boundaries. What did it say again, exactly? Uh, dangerous curves are happening. Oh yeah, I give the same warning when you try to uh, date on Tinder and a big girl matches with you. Ooh. What do you think about that? I've never been on Tinder. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. You're more of a grinder guy. Yeah. This is gorgeous though. Like, you can't beat Tennessee's uh, atmosphere overall. Like, it's just, it's almost like going up in the mountains in California, but everywhere is like that. We've definitely seen some uh, <laughs> middle of nowhere places out here. Just look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. How many dead bodies are in Tennessee? Probably a lot. Probably, probably a lot. So the war did happen over here. No, no, no. I mean, like, just like murdering somebody and just driving their body out into the forest Head because no one will ever find it. Road toward Macedonia Cemetery Road. Somebody in the video is going to go, I live by there. All right, I just decided since this is the last day and I can't take these on the, air, the plane anyway, we're just going to run through a bunch of drinks that I bought while Chris is driving. Uh, this is the third year that Mountain Dew has done the Voodoo Mystery flavor. Uh, the first year, uh, I can't recall, I think, oh yes, the first year was candy corn, uh, they revealed, second year, which last year was Skittles, uh, and I don't know what this one is, so we have it, Chris, you already took a sip of this before I started filming, what do you think it was? I don't know, it's almost like a cherry, I think a cherry? What is that? It's familiar, right? Yeah, it is familiar. Ooh, I guessed... I think I guessed Skittles for the last year, but I got the candy corn one wrong. Hmm. I feel like it's gonna be a candy of some sort. Hmm. Maybe like a Jolly Rancher? Does it tell you on the website? I think we can look it up. But they don't officially release the results until later. Yeah, do you win a prize if you guess right? I think, I think they did that the first year. I don't think they're doing that this year. I think it's just all mystery now. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna guess Jolly Rancher. I don't know what flavor, but it kind of has that uh, texture to it. Um, what's your official guess? It's whatever. Uh, I want to say, like, it's, uh, I don't know, like a white cherry or something. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, Flavor-wise, though, what do you rate it? Oh, four out of five. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not as good. Last year's was awesome. It was actually, it was literally Skittles uh, last year. So, way better than the candy corn flavor. Uh, yeah, I'll also give it a four out of five. It's not a bad soda at all. Uh, in the comments down below, what do you think it is? Although by now, I'm sure they'll already say exactly what it was. I'm gonna actually look it up too and see if we can uh, find Jesus out. Christ. Dude, these turns are crazy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the turns are insane. And there's like, nobody enforces speed laws out here. So it's like, as long as you don't murder somebody, you're probably okay. Look at how beautiful it is though. Country road, take me home. Continue on Rocky Point Road. To Put the my place I can go. Tennessee oh, tough. Don't care oh, about man. laws. Yeah, so these houses are just incredible. And like, if you had these houses out in California, you're basically wealthy. But out here, not really. <laughs> a fucking shack in California costs like a million yeah. dollars. Like these are huge, huge pieces of property. But they're not, they're not rich people by any means. I actually want to know, like, what do the rich people in Tennessee look like? We saw, rich in, areas? Uh, we saw it in, in Nashville. I bet that there's, like, communities, though, that are, like, way more wealthy. Oh, yeah. Like, like I'd like to go up there, like, their Morgan ranches oh, and stuff like there. that. Just a random horse down there. Random horse. It's just chilling, you know? Look at this shit. <laughs> at least their roads are nice, though. I'll say that. Yeah, it's well paved, better mm -hmm. than California. Oh, way better than California roads, yeah, easily. But I think it's also, our theory is it's better because no one's driving on them compared to California. Like, California's roads get used all the time. That also could be just because they allocate their taxes for roads a little bit better. Hello there, random home.